All right, so you've done some cool stuff in Unreal and want to show it off with some screenshots. There's actually a really quick way to get these screenshots as long as you know how to grab them and where to find them once you do. Let's jump right in. Here in the editor, grabbing a screenshot is quick and easy. First, hit F11 to maximize the viewport. This is a toggle, so you'll hit F11 to go back again. You can also use Shift in F11 to toggle full screen, hiding your taskbar. I recommend doing this because it'll give you the correct aspect ratio if you're on a standard 16 by 9 screen. Hit the G key to go into game view, which hides all your widgets. With your full screen viewport, now just hit F9 to take a screenshot. You'll see a little pop-up message that you can click on to go directly to your screenshots folder. But if you miss it, don't worry. Just go to your project folder in Explorer or Finder, go into the saved folder, and then you'll see a screenshots folder. This is where all of your screenshots are saved. Now, what if you have a view that you want to continuously capture as you iterate? Well, the best way to do that is with cameras, which we'll go over in depth in the full course. But right now, I wanna introduce you to a little trick to save viewport camera locations. These are called bookmarks. To create a bookmark, you find the view that you want, then you hit Control plus a number to save it. To demonstrate, I'm going to hit Control plus one to save a bookmark here in my scene. Then I'll go over here and hit Control plus two to save another bookmark. I can now use one and two on my keyboard to quickly jump to each one of these camera angles. Now, if you go up to this hamburger menu in the upper left of the viewport, you'll see an item called bookmarks. This is where you can go to see and manage what bookmarks you currently have saved, as well as you can set bookmarks here too. I highly recommend using the hotkeys though. All right, now you know how to grab screenshots so you could be able to show off your work. Later in the full course, we'll go over cinematic camera settings so you can get the real good shots. For now, take everything you've learned so far, play around to get comfortable working in Unreal, and take some screenshots to share what you're working on. In the next module, we'll start diving into working with assets so we can start creating even cooler scenes for you to take screenshots of. I'll see you there.